carrying passengers to Moscow, St. Petersburg. We carry uh, cargo, which is not, not involved in any of the sanctioned items. So you're carrying humanitarian, you're carrying food, me uh, medical, that kind of thing. And we just, as I've said earlier, you have to recognize that you know, the, the Russian population may not be part of what's going on. And, they, and the diplomatic corps of other countries who have missions in Moscow, who might have otherwise gone over Europe or on the sanctioned airlines, have still got to, you know, function, move people in and out. So you're kind of catering to those that are on the periphery of the, the main issue here. And uh, I think that's, that's probably the way the government looks at it. Uh, just to follow up on that, I know it's not your decision, it's the state's decision, but do you think as this war stretches, there might be a, there might be a point where the government, along with the airline, may have to relook at this decision, or that's not on the table right now? That's not my call, okay? It's uh, the government's call, the UAE, the government of Dubai. If, that, if we are told to stop, we will stop. Until we are told, unless we're told otherwise, we will continue. But what does this mean for the airline industry? Because now you have so many airspaces have been shut down. Again, we are talking about high oil prices. We are talking about COVID. The industry was just coming out of it. And then you have this war. What we now have is a geopolitical schism, which is likely to last for quite a long time. Um, and how will that shape traffic patterns? If, if this is what happens, if it's what happens, Russia is excluded by the West, say, from the global economy. How does that change out? the way the global economy works. And that will determine traffic patterns, where people go, how they travel, when they travel, why they travel, etc. So it's anybody's guess as to what is going to happen here. What is you know, considered to be a, sort of a localized thing? You talk about Ukraine, but it, I call it a war in Europe because it has, it has m major uh, manifestations of perhaps disadvantage for both sides of the, of the side. Of the, but that will affect what goes on in 